Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliver Deliverance, Captain. Awake already? I hope you've had a good rest after all you've been through. You might need it. We've got work to do tonight, so get up and get going to Talmberg as soon as possible. You need to rouse Sir Divish and his men for the attack. We'll meet this evening at the Stronghold and settle up with that sly bastard. Can I ask? Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. Listen up, man. Easy picking. I want every last one of you standing here in full armor and ready for action by sunset. To ask for a high price. And he says, that's fine. And started counting out the coin there and then. Just like that. What I heard. Well, I needed an army. I got one. Problem is that they do outnumber us. What is it? Where's Lord Capon? I really need to speak with Capon. Oh well. Okay, time to go to Talmberg. Yeah, I'm arrested and ready. Well, we're about to face a well trained mercenary, well, not necessarily well trained, but well equipped mercenary force. Actually, very badly trained. But they have plate armor and a strong defensive position. And we simply do not have the numbers to take them on, really. Not effectively. Military strategy. When attacking a fortress, you would need to have a 3 to 1 numerical advantage. A simple fortress. That's no simple fort, either. Alright. I don't care about that. Talmberg. Okay, let's talk with Sir Divish. Sir, I bring an urgent message from my father, from Sir Radzig and Hanish. <laughs> I take it you've heard. What does your father want from me? I found out who's behind all the unrest in the region, and father and Hanish have decided to put an end to it all. What? So who is responsible for all our recent troubles? You may have met him. Istvan Toth. No. I haven't met him, but Sir Radzig said he'd been here to visit before... before the raid. I don't suppose that's a coincidence. What kind of man is he? What is he after? He's in the service of King Sigismund, and he's fighting the nobility who support King Wenceslas. They've amassed quite a force at the old stronghold above Sasau, and they're planning to attack very soon. Father and Hannes have decided to move first and destroy him before he's prepared. Oh, for Christ's sake. When? 
And how? Tonight. They send word for you to muster your men and rendezvous with them at Vranjik. This is madness. <sighs> Maybe it is. But I fear that Radzik and Hanish are right. The sooner we cure this pestilence, the better. Gather the men and make ready. We march tonight. Leave only as many as you must to guard the castle. Very well, sir. As you command. Will you be coming with us? Yes, sir. I have some scores to settle with them. to miss the show. You didn't expect me to leave all the glory to you. Never. We wouldn't dream of starting without you. What news? Did you parley with them? <laughs> we did. And what was the outcome? <laughs> Not quite what we hoped for. Radzig wanted to go parley with them in person. Fortunately, I talked him out of it. <laughs> it seems that this will not be resolved without a battle. Bloody good thing, too. Finally, we'll have some proper entertainment in the countryside. Fortunately, my son here showed immense daring and made his way into the lion's den to spy on them. Tell us what you saw, lad. What do you want to know, exactly? Well, let's start with how well fortified they are. The outer palisade goes right around the whole camp. On a small hill inside it, there's a half-demolished farmhouse that's ringed by another palisade. That's where I was held prisoner. And that's where Toth's based. Him and his inner circle. Can you tell us how many tents there are and how they're arranged? There might be fifty. Maybe three score, most of them in the right-hand side of the camp. And the men? How many men strong are they? Quite a few. At least 80. Huh. We don't number much more than that ourselves. We do outnumber them, though, even if only by a few men. And our men are well-armed and disciplined. The foe, nothing but a rabble. From what I've seen, it's best to attack from our direction. How does it look from the other sides? The east side is all rocks, so no hope of launching a major assault from there. On the other hand, that's the way I escaped. It's where they throw all their waste. The heap's already so high, it's almost to the top of the palisade. Now that is interesting. The ramparts are long. If there are as many of them as we think, they can hardly keep watch over the entire length. Attack with full force at the gates, and they won't have enough men at the rear. That's an excellent strategy. But then I'd expect no less from you. If we cause an enormous uproar at the same time, they won't know what's hit them. Uproar? You said they have tents there? Yes, sir. Well, if I'm not mistaken, tents usually burn rather well. 
And we have quite a few archers. <laughs> you don't do things by halves, Divish. So, I believe we have a plan. Robard will take ten men and sneak to the rear of the fortifications. There's an entry point, but you must remain hidden. I will do my best, sir. That shouldn't be too hard. They'll have other things to worry about. The rest of us will launch a frontal assault. Rain burning arrows on them and then attack. Those bastards won't know which way to turn. At that point, Robot and his squad will strike from the rear. I think it's a good plan. God be with you, my friends. We'll wipe those whore sons off the face of the earth. Let us begin then. Listen up now. We are about to meet the rabble that have been trying to hurt us. Pillaging, killing, raping, and generally being a thorn in our side for long enough. They may be hiding behind a stockade, but they are still a pack of curs who are no match for men like you. And tonight, we are going to festoon these trees with corpses. First, we will set fire to their little hornet's nest, then we'll keep them busy by the gate, and when we've made it nice and hot for them, Sir Robard and his men will pounce on them from the rear, and we will hack them to pieces. Have you got it? Yes, sir! Good. Now, when we reach the ramparts, the archers will cover the men climbing it, and the men with the battering ram. Any of these fuckers foolish enough to stick his head outside the stockade is to lose it at once. Understood? Yes, sir! Glad to hear it. Now, let's do it! Forward! I am still very annoyed by the subtitles and all this, but anyway, let's begin. Charge the charge the main gate. Seems to be the strategy. Let's go, boys. They let them shoot. I'm wearing full plate. Alright, go, go, go. The gate is secure. Henry, go with the man and flush out anyone left. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Okay. I really need the bath. Okay. The top gate. that Hungarian bastard. Why isn't he here? Don't tell me no one was in command. It does rather look that way, Hanush. Henry, where's Toth? You said he was here. He definitely was, sir. I've got the cuts and bruises to show for it. You have to find out where he slithered off to. Look for clues. Anything that will tell us what he's doing.
welcome him. Hey, watch. Sir, I'd like to go outside. We need to take a... Sir, I need to get out. Better start searching. Who's there? What's going on there? What the fuck am I even looking at here? I've searched. I haven't found the damn fucking thing. For the love of God, please don't tell me that just because I got my armor back as, you know, any sensible fucking player would, that the game just bugged out on me. I really don't see what could it be. Gotta be that chest. I legitimately don't see any fucking thing. I can't go in the chest because I can't go in the tents that is because the game has decided hey we're not gonna let the player have any movement anymore in this so it's not the tents clearly for fuck's sake what's the value in doing this I mean, I don't see any document. <sighs> Nothing. Fuck's sake, what the... F Thank <laughs> you. 
Fine. Christine signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.